Having one app for everything is overrated. I'm an app fanatic and I just, I need all of them. Hi everyone and welcome back to Plan for Productivity. For those of you who are new, my name is Andrea and all kidding aside, I really do believe that you don't need to have everything in your life in just one specific app, especially when it comes to note taking. There's a lot of apps out there and some work better than others for specific purposes. And that's why in today's video, I wanted to walk you through where I take notes for different purposes, which are my favorite apps for those specific purposes, how I organize everything just so that I know where to find the information that I need all the time. So grab your cup of coffee and let's get started. I do try to keep most of my system in one place, most of my notes, and that is Notion. Of course, no surprise there. But whenever I find an app, that the way that the app works is much better for the purpose of the note that I want to take, then I will turn to the app instead of Notion. And I do have a couple of those, hence this video. That brings me to the next point, which kinds of notes do I take? Try to think about the different categories that you can fit in all of the notes that you take. So for instance, for me, I take a lot of literature notes. That is basically notes of like things that I listen to, podcasts, audiobooks, or books that I read, or anything where I'm like learning. I also take a lot, and I think you might as well too, of like post-it notes. I don't know if that's what I call them. It's basically like little notes of something I have to scribble down and I might need it in the future, and I might not. Like might just be something temporary that I'm gonna delete or throw away later or it might be like my wi-fi password that i need to keep accessible at all times so i take a lot of those i also take a lot of like information notes that is like more important pertaining to a certain project or stuff like that i take a lot of idea kind of notes like where i'm brain dumping and expanding and just like journaling on thoughts and all that stuff and then i do a lot of journaling obviously those are mainly most of my categories try to think about which ones you do so you can see if these apps will function better for you this is the most important part. Note taking, if you actually take it seriously, like if you have a lot of notes that you need to store and you wanna learn where to take them and how to use them, it's very important that you understand the process of what note taking is. And for me, I use do it similarly to my to-dos. When I have a to-do, I first have to capture the to-do, write it down whenever the thought comes in my mind. Then I have to organize it so that I'll be able to find it and then I have to do it or execute it. And for note taking, it's very similar. It goes capture, organize, and then resurface. And this is the most important part. When you take notes, the whole point is that you're gonna look at those again at some point if not what's the point of even writing it down so when you're trying to think of your system try to think of all those steps where does it make sense to capture this information where does it make sense to organize it and where am I gonna find it later where is gonna be the best place for me to actually run into that note at some point this is the most important part of the process capturing the information in my opinion a lot of us do a really bad job of this like you'll write it down on a piece of paper and then where the hell did that paper go and you'll just write it in a note and you'll delete that and it's so important to write things down the second that you think about them because you will forget them or it'll be bugging the back of your mind to try to remember them so this is my all-time favorite way to capture information and it's amazing let me just show you on my phone so this app is called draft as you can see when you click it it's going to open up this capture system immediately nothing is as quick as this i love notion i really do but it is impossible to take a quick note like just loading the app takes forever i love roam but the quick capture function is not great the note tap is pretty good i say those would be a good alternative but nothing is as good as this and most importantly this has offline features so like if you aren't connected to the internet you can still access and take all of your notes that's a game changer especially for when i'm running around you know trying to listen to a podcast which is why it is so important for you to pick the best capture tool and when you're looking for that tool you have to find something that is easy you know immediately you can open it and write it down very frictionless like there's not too many steps that you have to go through in order to be able to write down your idea and most importantly that can capture everything that's kind of what you want everything to be in one single place so that you only have one inbox to go to at whenever you look at your inbox in order to find all of your notes and then you know send them to their appropriate organization place so this is what i've been looking for for a really long time it's really hard to find an all-in-one capture system 
and I have found one. And it is the best thing that has happened to me in the last like two weeks, which is why I wanted to make this video. So most importantly about this thing is like it connects to like the rest of your system. It goes through these things called actions. You can set all of these up. I'm gonna try to link as many of them as possible, but that's something for another video. And then you can send these to their appropriate homes, which are all the apps I'm gonna talk about now. Obviously this is like a paid function, but I think that you can get away with like a basic one and just have that as your physical inbox. Look into the app, it really, really is worth it if you take a lot of notes. For all the apps, I am going to tell you what I think the app is great for and how I use it. And we'll see if I can show you a little bit of how I organize it. Let's start with the Notes app, with the iPhone Notes app. I don't know if Android has something similar to this. I personally love, love the Notes app. It is beautiful, easy, I really like it. And the absolute best feature of these app and what I use it most for is the fact that you can search it from Spotlight. I know that Notion is kind of like dabbling into that. I'm pretty sure Drafts does it too, but there's nothing like this. For me, the Notes app is basically my archive. This is where I keep all of my notes I need to access, and that's because of this. Let me just show you. So you just swipe down and type in whatever note you were looking for, and there you go. It's gonna show up real quick fast and that is why I absolutely love this app I keep all of my post-it notes in there let me just show you on my phone because it's easy but basically these are just like stupid little notes that I forget and that I might need to look at later on I have this docs folder which I don't want to click because it's kind of personal but I have all of this important documents sort of that I want to access like quickly so sometimes I need to access you know number account numbers and stuff like that like it's just files let's say this is kind of like my archive and you can see that I also use the receipts for that because the capturing thing like the I can't talk today photo capture and scanning documents function in notes is amazing like if you just want to scan something um you probably won't be able to see here but you can literally just like scan a document obviously this is not a document it's my computer but you get the point so that's great for receipts that's great for any of that kind of like quick information that you just want to like dump on your archive you know you're gonna need it i love that because you can search for all of these things when you don't have wi-fi and that's the most important part and i also use it with a lot of like checklists that i use on the daily so for example my morning routine because I can call it with shortcuts and just like you know check it off every single day and I really just like the way it looks so that's why I keep it there and as you can see the organization system in there is very simple it's just like the folder and then the notes I don't like to have subfolders or any of that because it's just it's too much for that level of searchability that the app already has Moving up to one of my favorite apps. If you've been on YouTube for a little bit in the productivity space, you've probably heard about it. This is, um, I guess their pitch is like bi-directional linking app. What that means is that one page is connected to the other page and everything that you write there and mention about that page shows up in the other pages. And this is great for research. This is great for literature notes. This is great for creative thinking because you can just pull up ideas really easily. And that's what I use it for. Literally taking all of my literature notes and just tagging the hell out of them and then also creating content from a lot of those notes and a lot of those ideas and just this is where I bring up basically. One other great function of this app is that it has the daily, like everything goes into the daily. So you don't have to think about hierarchy. You don't have to think about where the notes go. It's really good for capturing quickly. So you can have this, for example, as your daily paper and you just write everything there. I think that this is a really good space for digging deeper into those notes and connecting them with something else. If you need that in your system, this is great for that. What is Notion great for? Organization. Guys, organization. This is like the notes app. It's not even a notes app, but this is the app where you're gonna organize whatever needs organizing in your life. So the way I use Notion is like I have an inbox. So I send a lot of things that I capture on drafts to my Notion inbox. And then those things just get sorted into wherever they belong in my Notion. This is like where I keep most of my things except for the things I already talked about if you're looking for some place to like organize that information really well maybe you have like class notes or something like that this is the app for that I also think is amazing on notion is the quick link capture feature so I use this a lot with databases like for example my wish list I look at something that I want and immediately just like click the button on the screen and just capture it to notion I'll take it straight to my database I love notion for that so if you do a lot of research and you do you use a lot of links and all that kind of stuff you can really organize it well in notion and the way i organize this app is very simple like i said 
goes to my inbox and then I have this page called reference and that is where all of my databases are that is just like everything that I ever take notes on so from the inbox it goes straight into those reference pages very very simple one step and done And that brings me to an important point. When you're trying to organize the information that you have on your notes, you want to think about, first of all, what is the simplest way to do it? Like if you can do it in one step, that's the way to go so that you can keep up with your system. And number two, you want to think about how are you going to look for these notes in the future? The whole point of your organization system is that when I'm looking, let's say for an item in my wish list, I know exactly where to look. If I'm looking for a recipe, I know exactly where to look. If I'm looking for an important document that I stored, I know exactly to look for it in my notes app. If I am looking for that note I took on a podcast, I know exactly where to find it in my room. Not just the app, but the organization system within the app should be based around how you're gonna look for it later. How you're gonna resurface the note. I don't know if that makes sense. Journaling, honestly, this is my favorite app for that. A very popular one is Day One. I think a lot of people use that one. I personally love Journey. <laughs> I only like to journal, like I do a lot of like thinking journal on the Roam app, but I think that this is the best app for like memory keeping. Like I love it. I love that it's just one journal. It's not like you have multiple journals that you have to subcategorize. I love that I have like a moment and I can capture it and I can add pictures and I can add video and I can add emotions and like geotags. I just think this is a beautiful app. That's what I use it for. I use it like for memory keeping kind of. I think that you can just use it as like your daily, you know, journaling place because it's really, really user friendly. Number one, categorize all the notes that you have. Like think about what kinds of notes you take. Number two, pick the apps that you're gonna use the least amount, the better for each of those purposes. Create a system within each of those apps that is as simple as possible. And most importantly, try to create your one and done capture space. What is the place you will click to? Because who are we kidding? You'll probably do it on your phone. What is the place you're gonna click when you have an idea? Literally like, anything and and just so i can show you again i capture anything on drafts screen you can see that i can capture an event i can capture things which is like my to-do list i can capture video ideas content ideas spark note is my literature notes i can send things to my notion inbox and this is usually for like actionable notes i can do the quick capture to my roadmap i can journal like the journey that i just showed i can send notes there and i can send notes to like my post-it which is system which is basically in the notes app so i can send anything from this system and i don't even have to do it immediately you can just do it later leave them all here and then just sit down and go through them all and that is it <laughs> i cannot say this was a simple video but this is really fun for me. I love apps, I, I really do. And I love discovering them and finding my own personal way to do them. So let me know. I'm gonna try to link whatever I can below. Like I, if I can link the shortcuts or drafts, all that stuff, um, I'll try to link it below. But let me know what of these you want a deeper dive into because it didn't really go into like my organizational system in each one. I was just showing you kind of what I do with them. So if you want that, let me know in the comments and definitely, definitely let me know what is your favorite note taking app. I'm like taking a live poll of this. Like I'm so interested to know what it is that you guys are using. And if you, especially if you use an app that I didn't mention before, I'd definitely love to check it out. That is it for this video, guys. I really hope you enjoyed it. I really hope you found something useful. If you did, please consider subscribing and give this video a thumbs up. It really does help me out with knowing what it is you guys wanna hear from me. If you enjoyed this video, you might like my Notion meal planning video. A lot of people have told me great things about that and if you really like organizing and all this stuff i'm gonna change your life with that video i promise you thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you guys in the next video